If you are tired of the usual Times New Roman or the common system fonts available in your GoodNotes app, that ends now because in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add and use different fonts from calligraphy font to even your own handwriting font. I will also show you one of my favorite text hack in GoodNotes, so let's begin. We cannot really import custom fonts directly in the GoodNotes app, so we are going to use another app which is called iFont. If you don't have it yet, go to the App Store and download the app from there. Once downloaded, let's open the app. If this is your first time opening the app, you will see this. You can go to the featured fonts to download. Just tap install and make sure to check the info of each of the fonts that you are going to download to make sure that you are using the font according to the license given by the artist. You can also use the Font Finder tab and download from here. Use the Open Files option if you have the files for the font. You can also install these different Google fonts from the font and from the Font Space website. For me, I will be using the, the font website using the Safari browser as I am more comfortable using it this way. What I do first is to search by style and right now I'm going with the calligraphy style. This search area will pop up and to be safe, I'm going to filter it with just the fonts that are 100% free. If you found a font that you like, click download. The download icon in the top right corner will appear and tap on it. Once the font file is downloaded, check where the file is stored and then go to the iFont app. We already have the font file so let's open the font finder tab and select the open files option. Then tap import. You will see the import font file in the left side and just tap install. A window will pop up and tap continue after reading this. Then tap allow. Now go to the iPad settings and open the tab called profile downloaded. Then install the profile. You will be prompt to input your password if you have and after that, just tap install. Now let's check our GoodNotes app. Open a document and then text. Then find the font that you have downloaded. When resizing fonts, you can select the words you want to select and then use the font size option here. But for the faster process, you can use the lasso tool, then you can resize. I added another font called Sprinkle. Both the Luna and the Sprinkle fonts are linked in the description box below if you want to download them too. Now for my favorite text hack in GoodNotes, did you know that you can save your favorite text settings? If you like the current text style that you are using, you can tap this letter T with a heart and tap save as default. 
The next time you'll write using the text option, it will use the style you have saved. If you want to learn how to turn your handwriting into your own font, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell because in the next video, I will show you my process and how I turned my own handwriting into my very own font. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And I'm Kazel and until next time, bye!